everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another tutorial but I wanted to make it a little bit different. I went really 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 colorful with this look. I wanted to do something different because for one this is a pre-recorded video and I'm going to post this actually on my last week of the NYX Face Awards and right now I am prepping to go to the NYX Face Awards for those two weeks and I just wanted to get my mind off things and so I decided to do this look. Also, I talk all about the NYX Face Awards in my last unboxing video and the last tutorial that I did as well. So if you want to hear more about that and if you want to kind of keep up with my journey, here are all of my social medias listed right here and I will also put them in the description with direct links so you guys can keep up with all the madness and see what's going on. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So first I wanted to start off with brows and today I'm using the Tarte Brow Architect and this is in the lightest shade, I believe it's called Fair and this also comes with a concealer on it as well. I'm not sure how I feel about the concealer yet but the color of the pencil and the shape of the pencil are so, so good. It reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer, and I'm not sure the price difference, but they're very similar. And then I'm going to take some concealer and carve out my brows like I normally do. Then with that same concealer, today I'm using the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in Light and I'm just going to use this as a primer because this concealer is very sticky and it works really well as an eye primer if you put powder on it and today I'm using the Wet n Wild Coverall Powder in Fair. As you can see, I've used so much of it. And then I'm going in with the NYX Primal Colors in Hot Pink. This is literally the hottest pink you could probably get for an eyeshadow. It is so vibrant, but it's also super easy to blend out, which is hard to find in reddish, pinkish shades. They're usually really hard to blend. Then with the NYX Avant, Palette, Avant Pop Palette, the exact name of it will be down below as well. I'm taking that plum shade on the bottom right corner and just really defining the crease and then taking some more of the hot pink and just blending everything out so it looks seamless. Then with that icy color on the top right corner of the palette, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm going to take some of that NYX concealer that we used before and I'm going to create a cut crease in the middle, I mean the front of my eye instead of the outer corner. So it's going to be kind of like a reversed cut crease. Then taking this loose eyeshadow pigment from Furless Cosmetics, it's called Adulterated. I believe that's how you pronounce it and it is the prettiest gold, yellow, it kind of has a little bit of green reflex in it. It's so unique. I have nothing else like it and I totally forgot about it. And I was looking through my makeup and the whole look actually is centered around this eyeshadow because I forgot that I had it and it's so beautiful so I really wanted to put it to use. Then I'm creating a very thin but very sharp winged eyeliner with the Physicians Formula Eye Booster eyeliner in black and I'm just being very careful with this and making it super thin. I didn't want a big wing because I wanted the eyeshadow to be the main focus of this look. And then with the grayish blackish shade in that Avant Pop palette, I'm just gonna blend out the wing a little bit, curl my lashes, and then use the, the Balm Mad Lash Mascara, coat them really quick, and then I'm going to be using my favorite lashes right now, the Icon Eyelashes in Taylor. I've been using these like crazy in my past tutorials. You guys are probably tired of seeing them, but they're so pretty, you can't deny it. And then to take away fallout, I'm going to use the Be Gone Wipes by NYX, and then using the LA Girl Pro Prep Primer and just putting that all over my face so my face feels nice and smooth and ready for foundation. Then for foundation, I'm actually using this Cushion cushion Foundation, that sounds so weird, by Physicians Formula. The shade will be down in the description box again, I forgot it. 
And then I am just going to pat that all over my face with a damp beauty blender and drag it down to my neck. And it looks a lot tanner on my face compared to my neck. It's just because right below my jawline, my neck is super pale, but my chest is tan. It's weird, but it looks normal once it's all on. And then, yeah, I'm just taking my time and blending it all out. And then with the newest addition to my makeup collection, the Iconic London Contour Palette, the Cream Contour Palette, I'm just going in with all these different shades and trying out the different colors and seeing which ones work for me. I'm taking the second lightest shade and covering up my dark circles and any imperfections on my face and just tapping that in with my beauty blender as well. And then I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade in the palette and highlight my face like I normally do, just below my eyes, on my nose, on my forehead, my chin, and my cupid's bow. And I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender as well. Whew. And then I'm going to be taking this shade in the palette and it looks super warm in the palette but then I put it on my face and it's like the perfect contour color for my face so I was very pleasantly surprised and I'm just putting that on my jawline, my cheekbone and on my temples and blending that out with my beauty blender. This is how I normally cream contour. I don't cream contour super often but whenever I do, I do it the exact same way every single time. Then I'm just going to bake with that coverall powder by Wet n Wild underneath my eyes, on my smile lines, on my nose creases. Anywhere where I normally get super oily, I'm just going to bake that with my beauty blender. And then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush by Luxie Beauty and cover the rest of my face, prepping it for any other powders. Then I'm going to go in with the Butter Bronzer by Physi Ph whoa. Physicians Formula. And this is my favorite bronzer right now. It's so subtle. It smells like heaven. And it just goes on really, really smoothly, and it works really well with my skin tone. It's just honestly perfect, and I've been using it like crazy lately. Then I'm gonna cut my cheekbones with that same pressed powder that we've been using with a beauty blender. And then going in with actually the hot pink shadow for blush. I wanted something a little extra spathy today. And then I am just gonna blend out my lower lash line with the hot pink shadow make it super dramatic and just really smoked out. And then I take that blackish grayish shade and make my lower lash line a little bit darker and just blending everything together. Then I'm taking this Glide On Pencil by NYX. It's the green metallic one and waterlining my eyes for an extra pop of color because yeah, we need another pop of color in this look. Then with the hot yellow primal colors, I am putting that on my inner tear duct and then I screw up with mascara and I fix it and then I wipe away all the excess powders and go in with the Ofra highlight and put it on my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Then I'm going to add on to my natural freckles, just a couple faux freckles to add a little oomph. And I'm using that cream contour palette that we used before and a little pencil brush. And just dotting dots all over my nose, blending them out as I go. Trying to make them look natural but also stand out at the same time. Then with the Kala, I think that's how you pronounce it, liquid lipstick in Pink Paradise. I'm just going to put that all over my lips, let it dry matte, and then I'm going to put over on top of it the over highlight that I used before. And this is my first time using this liquid lipstick brand, and I actually am very pleasantly surprised with it. It reminds me of Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. 
And that is the finished look. I wanted to do something super colorful, something to get my mind off of all this stress for the next face awards. But this is my final pre-recorded video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and the next video that you will see will probably be my vlog from the next face awards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.